How'd you wind up here in this city? Salam Alaikum. Llegaste hace poco? Wish I were on the road. Fire and Mike. Wish I were on the road. Hmm? Open at him! Patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, aware, prepared. V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Got no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on. Put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Paul, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. Family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob, also on board. What's gotten into you? Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. V. 
be. What's gotten into you? Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission, someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick them. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. V? And you plan to grab the Basilisk cow? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet, and pertinent. None of that sad sack bullshit Saul likes to tack on.
Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. I had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years. Since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Now we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first.
Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. I've always been fond of trains, and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Not here. Nothing here. here.
Not here. Hmm. Well, well, well. Sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Got something. Good job. nothing. It worked! Come look! Little engine that could. V. I wanted to speak with you. Take long. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk. Get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God. So you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Ah, shit! Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now.
Could I'm still your ass down a minute, honey. Now breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah. Was it someone I know? No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. I ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And the jack. The Scorpion. about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. Sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. It's oh, kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B.
Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V.